first the argument with the tongue and the hand. I think this is a not intelligent argument because uh, even when you receive Holy Communion with the hand, uh, you put this on your tongue. So you receive Holy Communion with your tongue. In any case, you have to receive with the tongue. And so this, this contraposition, hand and tongue, is here completely nonsense. Uh, here is uh, the, the question of the exterior clear sign of reverence, which we are, uh, which we are obliged uh, to show to our God, to the incarnated God, who is in his fully divinity present under the veil of the little host. And we are obliged, I repeat, to demonstrate also a public exterior corporal sign. And this is the kneeling, it is clear. Of course, when you are sick and when you have, uh, when you are injured in your in your legs and so on, you cannot kneel, then it's another case, but normally people have to do this. And then on the tongue, because um, this is, it is diminishing, substantially diminishing the loss of the little fragments of the host, which can be attached to the palm of your hand or to the two fingers which, which, with which you take the host. And so all these elements of risk and real risk and danger and real, not only risk, but real danger of losing the little fragments and pieces of the host, which will then fall down and then trample by feet. This is a fact which no one can deny. And we have to stress this, and this is so serious that this is not an attachment, this issue, and not a secondary question. We have to defend our Lord uh, with all our heart, with all our might, <clears throat> that even no uh, littlest uh, fragment and piece of the consecrated host of the body of Christ will be in danger all do what we can, and therefore, objectively, to receive directly uh, on the tongue, it is diminishing, essentially, the danger in comparison with receiving with your fingers in your hand. And therefore, it's a question of your conscience, of your love, of your faith in the true presence of Christ in the Holy Host, this is not a question of obedience, but of faith. And here, in this concrete point, you have to say, I have to obey more God than man, because this is a simple human uh, meaning of this priest or of this superior of your uh, third order. And it is a human command, which is uh, subordinated to the incommensurable, infinite greatness and holiness of the Lord in the little host. <clears throat>